Great. So again, welcome everybody to our September coaches call. Uh, we have uh, quite the agenda again for you. We want to pack in all the information so you guys are ready for this uh, season that is um, officially underway. Uh, and we'll go through all the dates on the uh, NCL season in just a moment. But first, just want to give you an overview of what we're going to be talking about today. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, fall registration, which is important. We want to get those students in and playing. Uh, we'll talk about our research paper contest that uh, we brought up a few times here. Just want to let you know that that date is actually approaching. Uh, we will talk about recruiter pitch day, the college pitch day, and also uh, the NCL CrowdStrike Mentorship Program, which um, I think is super exciting and I've actually had a student participate in. So we wanna make sure you get all the information on that to get out to your students. And then the second half of the meeting as usual, we're gonna have some uh, conversations amongst each other just to share information this time on how do you prepare students for the NCL games. So the idea here is to share notes, and tools and resources with each other um, just so we can all um, do our best to prepare our students to succeed in the NCL games. All right, so quick welcome. <laughs> if you guys don't already know, if you're new to the call, I'm David Zaitchik. I am the commissioner of the NCL. Also on the call with us is Franz and Emily. Franz, you want to say hi? I guess you already did. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I wearing tech and trying to turn on my video. <laughs> no problem. And Emily, there you are. Hi, everybody. Welcome. Cool. All right. So next, I think, uh, Franz, you are up if you want to give us an overview of all these uh, upcoming dates and actually dates that have already passed. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah. Thank, uh, thanks, David. So we have NCL registration currently um, in full swing. It's open now until October 6th, and then late registration kicks in. So we've got a couple weeks left. Make sure that you get all of your students signed up before late registration. Um, otherwise, there's an a, a additional $10 late registration fee. There's no reason to have to pay that $10. So just make sure that um, you get them all in right away. And also, because the gym is open, as soon as they register, they can start uh, they can start practicing right away. And so the later you get registered, the less time you have to practice before the games. Um, the uh, the rest of the season schedule is up there. Practice game is October 9th through 15th. And then individual game is the weekend before Halloween. And then team game is the weekend after Halloween. Uh, so keep that in mind. And then immediately following the team game, we kind of go into uh, spirit week. And that will be um, where we have a lot of activities um, to kind of help your students get more involved within the community. Um, we've got some opportunities for professional development, and then it will culminate with the NCL award ceremony where we will announce the winners of the season. And um, uh, just a quick reminder in terms of getting your students registered, um, you have three options. They can pay for themselves. Um, so they just go in with the credit card. You can purchase um, in bulk with your credit card on your coach registration page. Or if you need to go through your finance department, um, go to the registration page, scroll down and click on the bulk registration button. Um, that will give you a form that you can use to put in your request to go through the finance department. Any purchase order can go through that way. Um, but those are the three options that you have. And if you have any questions with getting registered, please shoot us an email. It's ncl at cyberskyline.com. And we do have a question that just came up right now, Franz. Oh, okay. I will have to look at the chat then. I think it was just a hand raised. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yes. uh, can I ask a quick yeah. question? So when they register, uh, do they register for individual and team games at the beginning or later on? Or how does that work? That's a great question. So the students will initially register individually, and then there's a separate process for the team setup. And actually, uh, the team setup deadline is the day before the team game starts. And so they can just sign up individually, and then you don't they don't have to have their team figured out until November 2nd. So they got plenty of time. The important part is to get the individual registration done. 
And then the team part can come later, anytime before, you know, the, the night before the team game starts. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify too, if, if any of that's unclear, is like it's it is one uh, payment of the thirty five dollars gets them into the NCL, um, which then gets them to all the games. The only additional thing they need to do later on is if they choose to have a team. Um, they need to register that team, but that's not an extra fee. Yep. All right, I'll pass it back to you, David. Okay, great. So um, we've been talking about this and the actual date uh, is approaching. So we have a uh, NCL research paper contest. And the idea here is just to get the uh, community ready and engaged and uh, if you need to do some research, we're hoping that you'll look at uh, the success of what you have been doing with you and with your students with the NCL. And if you do choose to do this research, we do have some prizes available. So we will be judging these research papers. Uh, we have a first place prize of $600, second of $250, and a third of $150. Uh, the submission, you got plenty of time for submission because submission does not close until January 30th, but the submission link will be live uh, by the end of the month. And I do want to point out that this is uh, not just for coaches, but this can also be for students as well. So students are... Um, invited to also do some research and uh, submit a paper. All right, so we do have a QR code right there for the link if you want that, but we will also be sending out in the recap of this meeting uh, an actual link that you can use and also a link that you can share with students if they also want to uh, submit a paper for the NCL research paper contest. Any questions about that before we move on? All right, seeing none, let's go to the next. So here, this is just to kind of to tempt you into doing some research um, and also uh, to ask for some help <laughs> from my part. So I'm actually doing some research on investigating um, our NCL alumni, and I wanna find out how the NCL has affected them in terms of getting a job, and then also in terms of maybe even advancing in that cybersecurity job. So to do that, I uh, created a survey and I have a link right there, that SurveyMonkey uh, link to share with any students that again, have participated in the NCL and now have graduated and are working in a cybersecurity job. So again, this is very specific to that group of students, played NCL and graduated and currently working in a cybersecurity related job. Uh, I just wanted to share a couple of the questions. There's, I think I have a total of about just under 30 questions, um, which should take less than 10 minutes. So not a big time ask, but a couple of the questions here is uh, like this one, to what extent did the NCL enhance your group collaboration skills? Um, I believe that participating in the NCL offered a competitive edge when applying for jobs in the industry. And again, the idea here is, um, I, I don't know if you have, but I've read lots of papers that do talk about how cybersecurity competitions prepare students for the industry and other papers that talk about how um, cybersecurity competitions have students uh, be prepared and ready for interviews. And what I wanted to do was to ask the student's perspective. So how did it actually help you with those things? First, getting a career, career advancement, uh, interest in cybersecurity, and all of that. So I kind of wanted to, I, I, I want to qualify what I've actually been reading in um, in papers out there. So my ask to you, is if you do know any NCL alumni that are currently working in the comfortable asking them for 10 minutes of their time, I and also the NCL would very much appreciate uh, their time in completing this survey. 
And I see that Franz did put a link to the survey in the chat. So if you're thinking about it right now, go ahead and copy and copy that link out of chat and hopefully paste it into an email and send it out to a few uh, a few students. And again, students being um, ones that have graduated and participated in the NCL. Um, and I hope to share the results of this survey. Um, if not, probably, if not next meeting, hopefully the meeting after that. So hopefully the um, November meeting, I will have some results to share with you, which hopefully will be very interesting. All right, any questions about that before we move on? Yeah, maybe I missed something, but the link to the research paper, um, I'm, I don't have access to it. Um, so I don't have access. Is that supposed to be an open form or do I need to submit my email or something? How do I get that? Uh, that should oh. be an open form. We probably just need to double check the uh, share settings on that. So um, we'll take a look into that, but it will also be included in the uh, follow-up email. That yep. works. Thanks. Thanks for pointing that out. I appreciate it. Great. Okay, so let's move on to the next bit. So Emily, looks like you're up. I'm excited to share a bunch of community events that we have going on with everybody. Um, tomorrow, we have our Fall 2023 Recruiter Pitch Day. Um, everyone is invited to join. This will be a live event happening between 4 and 5 p.m. Eastern. Um, it is a wonderful way for students to connect and network with organizations um, that have open internship um, and entry-level roles. Um, we will also be recording the event, so in case you're not able to join live or your students aren't able to join live, um, we will be having it on LinkedIn and our YouTube channels as well. Um, we'll go ahead and put the link in the chat for the registration link. And I realized that I put a QR code on the slides. I don't know if Franz, if you can refresh really quickly and it might pop up, um, but if you're able to grab the link or the QR code, um, whoop. Sorry, there you go. <laughs> then you'll be able to easily share it. And we're also sharing it on our social media channels as well. Um, once again, this is open to everyone. So even if you have some uh, connections that aren't part of the NCL yet, they're more than welcome to join. Um, we had great success in the past couple recruiter pitch days. And um, this is a wonderful way, once again, for students to be able to connect with people who are hiring, whether now or in the future. Um, so we can go on to the next slide and we are, yes, I see a hand from Frederick. Yeah. So is, is it open to any student or students who have registered to be part of NCL? That's one question. And the second one, is it actually meant to be interactive where students would talk with or communicate with the sponsors or is it more listen only? Sure. So uh, we would hope that the students are part of NCL either now or in the future. So it's yep. a great way to recruit students who aren't technically currently in the NCL, but absolutely it's open to everyone. All of our community resources are open truly to anyone. Um, we would like to be able to garner events towards our actual NCL players, but that's a great way to get people into the mix and kind of see what we're doing here at the NCL. So it really is open to everyone. Um, and this is going to be a little bit of a fast and furious type of webinar um, where each organization is gonna have about five minutes to speak. And at the end, we are gonna have a little bit of open Q and A. So there is gonna be some interaction, but the main focus is really having the company share information. Um, but we will have a very limited time for Q and A and every organization and representative is gonna share contact information so even though they're not able to connect possibly on the live event, they're going to have ways to be able to directly connect um, with the recruiters and the hiring teams that are joining us. All right, we can move on to the next slide. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was going to say this was um, very successful last year as well. Did you want to maybe highlight a little bit of what happened last year? Sure. So we had about 600 people join us live, um, which was fantastic. And out of those uh, connections, um, there were a few people who were asked uh, to uh, join um, interviews, um, which is very exciting. 
Um, and we've had many connections where the recruiters are staying in touch with different students um, as they're progressing through their schooling. Um, it's a wonderful way for also relationships to begin. Maybe students aren't ready for an internship. They're not, not ready to hop into a role yet. Um, it's a wonderful way to open a door to connect with people who are going to be continuously looking for great candidates. Um, so we're hoping to have a great showing. Um, right now, as of this morning, I believe we had 900 people register uh, for the event. So we're hoping to have a great showing on a live audience and really show these companies that we have um, people who are excited to hear about their internships and entry level roles um, and show the enthusiasm behind what we're trying to do for our NCL community. So get everybody in there. We want a huge audience. We want to blow these companies away. Um, and that's a wonderful way to strengthen how we're getting our students into cyber careers. Just looking really quick, see if anyone has any questions. Nope, looks like some paper questions, but we can get to those in just a little bit, but all right, wonderful. Franz, if you want to move forward, thanks. Um, so Franz had mentioned that Spirit Week is gonna be happening right after the team game. And we are doing some new events that hopefully are gonna help students once again, be able to do some really fantastic career prep. And part of the path of preparing for a career is also making sure that you have um, the degrees that will relate to a degree that students want, or perhaps it's gonna be a certificate program, or maybe they're just not sure what their next steps will be in education. And we realized that we have a wonderful opportunity to be able to share about different colleges and universities with our NCL community. Um, so this is going to be a new event that I'm excited um, to have a lot of schools want to participate. Uh, it's a great opportunity for colleges and universities to share about school culture and mission, um, cybersecurity and tech related degrees, certificate programs, academic support opportunities. Um, remember that our community is very diverse. So we have students in high school. We have uh, uh, students that are in two-year colleges, postgraduate. They're coming from boot camps and continuing education classes and courses. So truly, you have such a wonderful variety of students who may want to learn about your particular college or university. Um, we are going to see how this goes and have an opportunity to share information with our community. Um, it's open up for anyone who is interested. If you come from any college university, if you'd like to present on behalf of your college university, that would be fantastic. If you have um, a career office that would like to participate and you'd like to get me in touch with them. Um, once again, this is really just a wonderful resources for our students. I'm happy to give more information. My email is emily at cyberskyline.com. And that way we can just connect and we can find options for you to share for college pitch day. Um, right now, we are sending out different inv invitations to schools and colleges that we've had some partnership discussions with, but this is really open to anyone who's interested. So this is a call out. If this sounds like something that may be exciting to you and you want to get more information or maybe you have some questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, the event is not going to happen for a couple months, so you have plenty of time. The event is going to take place on Monday, November 6th at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, and yeah, we are accepting schools to participate now. And if this happens to be something that has a lot of interest, we're hoping to expand it for future Spirit Week events or maybe sprinkle throughout the competition seasons. Um, but we're excited and think that this could be a really good opportunity just to help to continue to support our students in the NCL community. So any questions about this? Hey, John Cyclic, that's cool. He said, I make pitch day an extra credit assignment for my students. Two thumbs up on that one, John. That's the way to do it. I like that. <laughs> Everyone do what John's doing. That's a fantastic way to get people in there and what a great incentive. But once again, any questions about College Pitch Day, please let me know. You will probably see me on LinkedIn and other parts of our social media sharing about College Pitch Day and um, more than likely next month as well for the coaches call to see if we can get more people in the mix. But please feel free if you have a colleague or someone that's perhaps at a at a different school or university, or perhaps there's just somebody else who might be a better point of contact for this, please send my information to them or let me know how I can connect with them. Um, and we'd love to have just a wonderful variety of schools to be able to present to students during the college pitch day. And just to kind of calibrate where we are with this, 
the college pitch day is going to be very similar to the recruiter pitch day, where we're going to give schools five minutes to share about all the things that they want to share about. Maybe it's the culture, maybe it's the mission, maybe it's awesome programming, academic support opportunities and scholarships, whatever they want to share for that five minutes. That way we have kind of like a uh, rotating uh, conversation where colleges and universities will be able to share with students. Um, and that way they know where to get more information so they can continue on their cyber journeys. And we can move on, Franz. All right, so we have a very exciting uh, mentorship program that is gonna be um, having its third iteration happening in just a few weeks. NCL and CrowdStrike Mentorship Program um, is a way to have uh, students from HBCU and MSI uh, institu institutions be able to participate in one-to-one -one mentorship with actual CrowdStrike employees. Um, so these are gonna be four sessions that take place between October uh, 2023 and February of next year. Um, each applicant will receive a $250 a scholarship, which is awarded at the end of the program. That's the students are getting paid to actually have a mentorship, uh, a, a mentor and be part of a mentorship program, which is really nice. Um, they also are gonna be matched up with a variety of different mentors. Every month they get matched with a new mentor in CrowdStrike, which is a great way for them to just know about different roles and, to, and get to connect with more people within the actual cyberspace. Um, there's also opportunities for students to apply for CrowdStrike internships and jobs. Um, CrowdStrike absolutely loves our community, and they really do cherry pick students, especially those that are part of the mentorship program. And also, this is an awesome opportunity to list this um, event and this programming in their resume. So it's just a wonderful thing for students to be able to share. So the opportunity is available first come first served based on the limited number of students. We are still accepting applications and we highly encourage you to share this with students that you know. Um, and maybe those students that you know are your own children, your own uh, nieces and nephews, next door neighbors. Remember this really is open to everyone. So when we say students, it may not necessarily even be your students, but anyone that you think could benefit from this. Um, they must be participating in the NCL fall competition season, and they must be a student at HBCU or MSI and must be a sophomore, junior, or senior. So those are the only parameters that we have. Applications are due this Sunday, September 17th um, by 11.59 p.m. Eastern. Um, the mentee application will pop in the chat and that QR code will also take you there. Um, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to me, but if you go to that mentee application, if, if you are, even if you're not a mentee, if you click on it, it will give you a little bit more information. It's a very, very easy application process. So I want to put that out there. Maybe takes three to five minutes tops, um, but this is an amazing opportunity to be able to get um, a lot of exposure with CrowdStrike, who's one of our amazing sponsors, um, but also just gives them an opportunity to be able to shine in ways that are very valuable for our students. So once again, the applications are due this Sunday. Please feel free to share the applications far and wide. Um, and if we haven't already, I'll make sure we have the app. Thank you so much, Franz, in the chat. And um, yeah, we're excited to see who our new cohort of mentees will be and our new cohort of mentors. Um, we are accepting 30 mentees for this cohort. And um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started in October. So in just a few short weeks, along with the competition season, we'll have students who are matched with some really amazing mentors. So does anyone have any questions about the NCL and CrowdStrike mentorship program? You do have a hand up there, Emily. I do. Thank you. It, I was hiding the hand. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's here. yeah. Okay. So uh, due to the structure of the term, my students will actually only get the codes for registration Monday, which is the 18th. Can they still register for the man P? Absolutely. Absolutely. So that's not a problem at all. As long as you're anticipating to be in the in the competition season, that's totally fine. Um, and there's going to be a, just a little checkbox that says, yes, I do plan on competing. So yes, that's that's perfectly fine. As long as the competition season is going 
And I'm going to be honest, it's also a part of the honor system. We're not going to kick anybody out if they didn't actually participate, but we find it to be uh, very valuable for students to be competing as well as being part of the mentorship program to make it a full circle experience. Um, so yes, absolutely. We do encourage everyone to apply, even if they're not able to register all the way up until late registration, they could still apply for, for the program. That was a great question. Thank you. Absolutely. And there uh, was another question in chat, and I think we you probably already answered this, but I'll just throw it back out to you again, Emily. It's uh, gotcha. the mentorship open to grad students. So I want to say that, yes, that is open to grad students. I don't think that there's a reason why we wouldn't want to open it to grad students. We have the parameters there for our sophomore, junior, or senior. Um, we do go have a little bit of a process for picking students. However, if they do make a good case for a grad student, how they could be benefiting from this and they're continuing their education, we would be open for those applications. We typically don't have many, um, but we would be open to it. So I would say have them apply and um, yeah, just have them apply. I think that will be fine. Cool, thanks. And yeah, I see that Franz did put the link there in chat. Um, and we will also put the link in Discord. Yep, <laughs> we will. Which is my segue into the Discord slide. <laughs> so um, I do want to make sure that uh, everybody knows that we have a specific channel on Discord for coaches. So on the NCL server, we have the opportunity for coaches to communicate, share ideas, um, just like we're about to do live, but we want to be able to continue this conversation offline. So you don't have to save up all your questions and sharing opportunities for our once a month meeting. We want you to be able to share and collaborate via Discord. So we do have the link there and uh, Franz has already pasted the link to Discord into chat. So if you um, do want to sign up for the NCL Coaches channel on Discord, click on that link and follow these instructions. If you are unfamiliar with Discord, uh, Franz has recorded a video. So I think I'll ask Franz to put the link to the video also in the Zoom chat. And that will help you walk walk you through the process of signing up for Discord. So, uh, if just to step back a moment, if you haven't heard of Discord, um, it's also very similar to Slack. It's um, it's really simply a messaging application um, for us to share information. Great. And then there, I see the link was just posted into chat for the video. So again, if you're brand new to Discord, you wanna figure out how to get everything set up. We just posted a link to a video that will walk you step-by-step step in terms of how to get set up on Discord and then how to um, sign up for the NCL server and then how to navigate to the coaches corner. That's all in that video that was just posted. Great, and I do see in chat, John switched our entire cybersecurity program to Discord, so we collaborate with NCL, that is awesome. Um, and that is kind of one nice feature um, that if you do, if you're on Discord, um, so for me, I actually have my cybersecurity club on Discord, and you're actually um, able to link the announcements. So that means that any announcement that comes from NCL will automatically then go into my cybersecurity Discord chat. So they can be kept up to date directly within Discord. And I don't know about how many of you, but I, most of my students are already on Discord. So this wasn't really a big, big heavy lift for them. Uh, they had already been using Discord probably even before they came into the university. So this is kind of uh, more of the norm in terms of what students use to communicate with each other. Any questions about Discord? I don't see anything else in chat. So let's go ahead and move on since we're right at the top of the hour. And this is our 
coaches committee discussion time. Um, again, this came up because we thought uh, it would be great for us to not just talk at you, but also have an opportunity for you to be part of the conversation and share ideas, shares about what's working with you, for you, and also share you know tools and tips and tricks and sites and all that good stuff. So what we're going to transition into right now is that discussion portion. And if you are new to the call, what we do is we are actually going to create some breakout rooms within Zoom. And we will then put you into that breakout room. Yeah, I can I can pull up the uh, the Canvas shell slides. OK, cool. Hey, hey Ron, I'm seeing you a lot on Zoom today. <laughs> All right. As as we're uh, waiting for Franz to pull that up, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start sharing my screen um, just so we can walk through each of these breakout rooms just to see what people came up with. Um, and at the same time, as we do this, um, I am looking for any links because I did notice people mentioned um, sites they use. If you could actually put the link to the site in your document. I am then going to take that link and copy it into Discord so people can see what that looks like in Discord as well. And also so you can continue to use any of these tools that we talk about without having to get into Google Docs. We want everyone to be able to have all the tools at their fingertips, which will be through Discord. So, John, why don't we start with you? You want to do a quick summary of what you guys uh, learned in your breakout room? Okay, sure. Um, I won't say that we followed your questions for consideration, but um, there was uh, some uh, some people like like myself tightly integrate the uh, NCL into the course. Like my ethical hacking class is built around NCL at this point, uh, but others are uh, doing it with uh, with a club or or softly associated with a class. Uh, interesting that in West by God, Virginia, uh, there are still you know. Uh, trying to get the computer club up post COVID. And so they said they've had a lot of interest in NCL, but they're new, this is the first year. So uh, I think if anybody wants to help out West Virginia, they would they would accept that. Uh, they're trying to figure out, they didn't know about like the payments and all that. So they've got some scholarships uh, for that. And, um, I encourage them and I encourage everyone to use Cali Linux and just make that, tell the students, always do everything through Cali Linux, because even though you could do your challenges, uh, like your open source intelligence through any Google. It's just that get used to that environment so you're not hopping back and forth between windows. Um, so uh, da, da, da. so like I said, a lot of clubs, uh, recording of, of uh, videos. So if an instructor leaves it, like our cybersecurity club, we record that so students who can't be there or people can go watch it later. Uh, the other thing is to uh, really make use of the other students, right? So it's not an instructor talking all the time. Find that uh, outgoing uh, you know, I'll, I'll steal Joshua's uh, expression, develop their soft skills so they can lead the student through a challenge. Like uh, I told a story to my students, I could not do the easy forensic challenge last night with uh, GitHub. So two of my students saved me on that. Uh, last thing I'll mention is, uh, let's see, I just saw it in here. I wanted to mention, oh, so Joshua has a different approach. I said, I tightly couple NCL and uh, Joshua does what I call free range, uh, where he just lets the students uh, do it on their own and counts on social engineering and peer pressure to, uh, to make them uh, succeed in that. So that's what I got. Thank you to my group. Thanks so much, John. Appreciate the overview. Uh, Steven. Yes, uh, hello. Well, uh, I was the only one in the group that was experienced in the NCL. So I just kind of shared what we did with our Canvas. We actually have a Canvas course. It's called a co-requisite course. And so students, if they sign, if they're going to register for any uh, cybersecurity course uh, at the college or an IT course uh, or computer science course, they have to uh, also uh, register for the uh, uh, NCL. And then uh, we have a Canvas course set up, and uh, uh, had, it contains videos. We also have MST meetings. Uh, we have uh, uh, a lot of this is, is uh, coordinated with uh, not only the coach, the coaches, but also with students and alumni students. So we have uh, some alumni students come in and maybe uh, work with the uh, students within the uh, the Canvas course or at an MS Teams meeting. 
we record those so that students can learn more about uh, how to use different tools. You talk about uh, uh, Kali Linux or Black Ubuntu or there's so many different, everybody has their own way of doing things, how to set up a VM on a system. All these are in the Canvas course. We also have a discussion uh, board so that students can ask questions or uh, they can put in there how they, uh, what the tools they use and how they use those tools. They can put a video in there, whatever. So that's kind of how we, we coordinate this. Everything we have is online because we, all of our courses and our degrees and certificates are online. So uh, that's why NCL really fits our school perfectly. Right. Uh, and uh, So Stephen, do you have, um, are any of these links uh, available to yeah. Uh, us? Yeah. yeah, I think I shared those before, but yeah, I could definitely send, yeah. send them to you again. If, and... you put the, if you put the links in here, okay. you put them in Discord, so that people can use those links. Okay. Cool. Let me let me get All into right. some of those, and I'll I'll send them to you. All right. I mean, I'll put I'll put them in there. All right. Thanks so much, Stephen. Okay. Okay. Next, we have uh, Anthony for your breakout room. Yeah. So we, um, for the most part, we stuck with the um, you know with the format that you guys presented us with. Uh, um, talked about our. Um, you know, preparation. So uh, I think all of us are, you know, pretty much using the gym as preparation. Um, that's like the baseline. Um, some of our students uh, are looking for new gym challenges. They've noticed, you know, the repeat students have noticed that the gym has been the same for several years. And um, there is a recognition that a lot of that is so that, you know, newer you know, participants, they're getting used to it. So, you know, we kind of want them to see the same things. And then, um, you know, students that are familiar with it are able to help out. Um, and, you know, so, uh, I mean, I think in general, that's, you know, what you go for is you you want the, the students who have some experience to help those who are new to the uh, process, new to the NCL. Um, we do, like I personally, I assign uh, homework and hands-on activities. I know that, uh, you know, some of the others in the group do the same thing. Um, you know, making sure that there is an engagement uh, with the students um, that, uh, if, like, for me, like we have SLOs and, you know, so the gym aligns with, you know, weekly goals for, you know, accomplishing the, the different um you know, the different categories within the NCL. So by a certain time, they should, you know, have OSINT done and or crypto done or powers are done and, you know, kind of follows down. And, you know, I, I think there's a reason why NCL is set up the way that it is with OSINT first is that, you know, that that pretty much leads them into everything else. So we kind of emphasize that, say, okay, get your OSINT in so that you understand that everything else that you're doing here is pretty much about research, you know, but, uh, but, Again, just trying to follow those S those uh, SLOs, and um, you know, I, I tell them, listen, if you want to go above and beyond, and, and and you know, knock out the whole gym, go for it, you know. But then you're going to have more time for other challenges. So don't think that you're just going to, you know, be, you know, sitting around waiting for the practice game to start. You know, now you got other other tools out there and things that you can do. So um, so then we talk about the other platforms, and um, you know, there's some free stuff out there. You know, I mean, we're we're all we're all on a budget here. Uh, <laughs> I expect so. Um, there's a lot of free tools out there that students can use. A lot of free CTF challenges that they can do. You know, HCB has got um, you know free plot, uh, free um, you know free tiers that they can do, and Sands and Pico's got a lot of free stuff. So you know, and and they're all good practice. You know, um, just you know, don't spend any money because there's tons of stuff out there. Um, and then as far as our, our practice sessions, you know, I think most of us are doing this by Zoom. And since it's, you know, it's, we're not really doing like a guided, like, okay, everybody, let's do uh, OSINT number one together. It's more like, go do it, come back, we'll discuss, you know, and then we have, um, you know, we, we have the students kind of discuss it uh, amongst themselves, you know, so, um, 
So again, yeah, encouraged to do it weekly, not necessarily enforced in, in my format. It's a little bit more enforced in that they, they do have an overall goal, you know, that they have to reach, but you know, I, you know, if they can't spend, you know, a lot of time on it one week, but they can do it more another week, I'm fine with that. As long as they're making progress, I'm just always checking their progress. So I think, uh, I think all of us are kind of looking for that as well, you know, looking for progress. Um, so they're encouraged to do it, but not necessarily enforced. Um, and then, yeah, as far as uh, the resources, you know, you got those other platforms. YouTube is great. You know, Google walkthroughs. There's tons of walkthroughs. You know, there's not a lot of walkthroughs for NCL specifically. Um, you, you guys have done a very good job of keeping that stuff pretty, pretty tightly, <laughs> tightly mm -hmm. knit, you know, um, right. but as, but there's a, there's, there are tons of walkthroughs for the other platforms. And, you know, if they start in those challenges and they start going through the walkthroughs, you know, they're going to get more familiar with those resources. They're going to get familiar with how to find those resources. And again, it all goes back to OSINT and, and what, you know, that that's the basis for everything is that if you don't know, you, you have this wonderful tool at your fingertips called a phone or a laptop and you can literally find out the answer to anything in the world now so i think most of us in this conversation grew up in a world where you know you had to like wait for the library to open and you know borrow an encyclopedia <laughs> um, yep. and now you just you know you just sit there and say oh i wonder what this is and you just find out so OSINT is everything you know um some notes that said you know we we get a lot of questions um, you know, uh, especially from the newer players that they're in panic mode and they're like, I don't know how to do this. I don't, you know, I don't understand this, this end map isn't working or whatever. And so we, uh, sorry, my spelling there, but, uh, we I'd like to <laughs> boomerang technique, you know, I mean, you get them in class and you say, okay, is that, has anybody else done this challenge? You know, oh, you got it. Okay. What, what did you do to it? And, you know, kind of get them all talking, try and get them to engage with each other because I think they'd rather learn from each other than from us anyway. So anyway, that's about it. So cool. Thank, thank you. you. And then if you could also, I know people probably know these uh, platforms, but if you could just put the links in there, I'm going to go ahead and copy those and put them in discord just so everybody sure. can have links to those other platforms if they're not familiar with them. No problem. Thanks so much. Okay, and I do realize we're kind of right here at the end of the meeting, but I do want to give uh, both Ron and uh, Michael a couple minutes or maybe a quick <laughs> summary of what they talked about in their breakout room. So, Ron, you ready? Sorry, we were all pretty new. Um, we had Morgan only for the first minute. She mentioned Cyber Patriot as a pre-exercise before. Um, and then... For our school, we've we've had students doing NCL for a number of years. We've never really gotten serious about it. We're doing that this year. So we have a grad course that um, where they're required, to, every student's required to do NCL, but they're required to provide leadership for NCL as part of their grad program. So they're figuring out, you know, how to practice, what's the right structure. They're putting on weekly um, uh, training sessions. Um, they're doing all that sort of thing and um, kind of building what will hopefully become a new normal for our institution um, as we go um, forward. And um, so, but that's um, uh, that's about it. And we do everything by community. So we do other other competitions as well. So we do pretty much everything by student community. We don't almost nothing is faculty led. Um, and then Carnegie had some ideas as well, using you know sort of resource from Microsoft Learn, mm -hmm. um, Checkpoint Academy, um, and whatnot. So there are lots of great materials out there um, in many many different formats. Cool. And yeah, and if you if if uh, Carnegie is still on the line, if you guys could put the link in specifically to what you were talking about here for Microsoft Learn and Checkpoint, that would be great because I'd like to put that in the Discord as well. So I guess your quick summary, Ron, is uh, watch out for Cal Poly this uh, season, huh? Well, we'll see how they do. I mean, we we rely on students to do everything, so if they do well, yeah. then you know, hopefully, good things might happen. All right, sounds good. All right, then last, uh, Michael. If you're still there, you there. Um, there you go. Yep, I'm still here. Uh, we're, real quick, there are three people in my meeting room uh, Pitts Community College and uh, Rod Rodesio Campus in New Mexico, and um, me from uh, ECPA in Charlotte. We, uh, we all have different approaches. Uh, Pitts Community College incorporates it into their curriculum uh, and offers uh, some participation credits uh, in their classes 
where Joel uh, or, or the Rodesso campus um, does it as an extracurricular type activity. Uh, there is a point system they have for how much, but it's non-credited type class, but there's a point system. And uh, they're all doing uh, either um, some kind of uh, Canvas shell and or the NCL gyms and resources uh, used there. At my campus, it's, it's also a very hands-off student-led approach. Uh, matter of fact, and, and both uh, two of us are brand new, and we really don't know a whole lot about NCL as far as, you know, uh, hands-on approach and, and what resources are available. And my, I, I think personally, if more teachers and curriculum planners were, uh, were given some training on it, we might be able to in uh, incorporate that more into our curriculum uh, because we're teaching the same concepts anyways. So if, if we were had some training on it, we can incorporate it into our curriculum, maybe even make it for credit and get more people to participate. But because of my school is, is so hands off right now, uh, I have three people on my entire campus that's participating and I don't even deal with them. Uh, I, I forward them to uh, another corporate person who's running the club and, and they do all the training. Got it. All right, uh, and Franz, did you have that slide up ready for the um, uh, Canvas shell? Just so we can share that at the very end here. Yeah, and I also posted it into chat, but I'm happy to do a screen share of it right now. Let me get that up. Because this was mentioned a couple of times, so I'm sorry we're going over the hour, but uh, for those of you who can stay just for another minute or so, I wanted to give you access to our NCL Canvas shell. So um, what we did was we put together um, a lot of the material, um, well, that I use and that other people like Steven contributed to this. Um, so what you can do is you can actually um, download or um, import this NCL Canvas shell into your, um, into your uh, uh, I guess, N uh, uh, Canvas, area, I guess we'll call it. Um, and also, if you're not on Canvas, you can actually still access this Canvas shell. And again, what it is, is we have it actually um, categorized into each of the nine NCL categories. And in each of those categories, I have videos talking, walking you through the different tools to use, plus um, several different labs that you are uh, welcome to use as well. So the idea here is this whole Canvas solution for anyone that wants to use the whole thing or pull parts from it, you're welcome to use. So um, the idea is if you know this material is out there, we want you to be able to use it. You don't have to necessarily create something brand new. Go ahead and use this material. So Franz just put a link in to chat for a video on how to use the Canvas shell, meaning how to get to it and then how to import it into your Canvas work area. Or like I said, you don't even have to be on Canvas. You can still get to this um, free through a free Canvas account. All right, any questions about that? Okay, so I will put that link to the Canvas shell tutorial plus the other links that I asked you guys to uh, come up with in to um, Discord. And I just wanted to show you that as well. So here is our NCL Discord. This is our coaches corner. And we have a thread specifically for this particular topic. So if you do want any of the links that you saw that we talked about within that Google Doc, I will put all the links here within Discord. And if you're on Discord, Feel free to add more links and more tools and more resources so that we can uh, share this with the community. All right, we will we can stay on the call for a couple more minutes. If anyone has any more questions, like specifically, we can walk you through how to get on Discord or anything else. But for the everyone else, thank you for joining our monthly call. And uh, if you haven't already, get your students signed up on the NCL so they can start getting into the gym and practicing. And we will see everybody again next month. Have a good week, everybody. Bye, everyone. Um, does the note